Welcome to DHS Informatics. This video is a interesting video. In this video, we are going to see about a project which was developed using uh, Python under machine learning concept. This is uh, two big things we are achieved in this project. One is a crop yield prediction. Another one is a rainfall prediction. Earlier, there is a crop yield prediction separate project is there, rainfall prediction is a separate project. But uh, this project merged the both the thing, rainfall prediction and crop yield. Because the crop yield will be based on the rainfall. Without rainfall, we are predicting something for the crop yield, it will not going to be correct. So that it is a combination of the rainfall prediction with the crop yield classification. Crop yield classification means whether we are going to get a very good yield or poor yield or average yield like that. Rainfall prediction means it will give the quantity, how much m, uh, millimeter will get the rainfall in this year like that. These are the real data set. It is available from the Indian government site we downloaded. For all the state we have the data set. This is the latest paper. You can able to see that it is 11th May 2022 and they published on the 16th June 2022 they published. Okay. Now we can enter into the project. Always uh, we are in uh, DHS, we are developing a project with the two concepts. One is uh, with Jupyter Notebook, we will develop the project in the beginning. Okay. Then we will store the model. For that model, we develop a front-end application using the Flask or Django and we will show the demo in the Django. That is called testing part. Okay. Why we are selecting the Jupyter Notebook means it is easy to understand and explain to your guide also it is very very easy. So that only we are adapting this technique. When we are going with a flask output it will be attractive. That is the end user output. No need to show them for end user what we are developing. No. That is a, it is a one type of real time implementation we are adapting. Okay. Now we are importing the libraries here. I think hope you know about the pandas, numpy, matplotlib to print the graph, seaborn library to print the classification report and the confusion matrix. SKLearn we are downloading for splitting the data and we are each model we are uh, class uh, we are uh, testing they are evaluating the model with the accuracy score classification report and confusion matrix now the data set was taken in this data set we are having the first thing is the state and the second thing will be we are having a season and a crop what type of crop and the area area how much they cultivated and what is the rainfall okay we are having the this data set we are having that totally we are having that 74,975 records we are having, 5 columns are there. It is Andaman Nicobar only we are showing it, but it is for all the states it is available. We are checking for the null value, if the null is there we have to remove and we are checking for any uh, in a machine learning we have to make it uh, all the thing as a number but you are seeing that it's an object object is coming we have to it is a string data type we have to convert this string into the number data type we have to do that we are going to do that here we are for understanding we are doing the EDA elaborative data analysis we are doing we are lo we are showcasing the thing for how many states how many records are there I highest number of records we are having in our data set for Bihar then Odisha and uh, Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand, Kerala, like that in this database it is there, okay. Now this data set for the uh, seasons, seasons means you know summer, winter, autumn, rabi and whole year, or whole year means every year, like that also they are giving the data, this is a season based also they are giving the rector, uh, data. In this thing car if only we are having the monsoon, in that monsoon only we are having a majority of the records are we are having, okay. Now we are going with the crop wise. Here you can see the mice. Mice is having more number of record. Then you can have rice. Rice is the fourth place. It is getting more number of record. This is called EDA. We can call it as a data visualization. We are loading the data, pre-processing the data and we are doing the data visualization. Then what we are going to do means uh, we have to change this uh, state names, no, this state names uh, and this seasons and crop to the numerical value, no, 
that we are doing the changing process here after conversion you see now everything will come as a numerical data we are converting that then what we are going to do means we have to classify uh, whether the crop you are going you are telling that uh, in Karnataka or in Tamil Nadu this summer I am going to cultivate rice means we have to say that whether it is a good yield or it is a poor yield or average or very good we have to do for that we are doing the clustering in this clustering means it is a grouping in your class there are under students are there your teacher will be clustered into three groups they will they will based on that average mark they will tell these students are the outstanding students that means above average these students are average students these students are below average like that we are they are doing no like that we are doing to clustering to identify what yield we are getting it is a good this is a very good it is a average it is a poor like that so that we are going to do with them four clusters we are going to do and we achieve it the four clusters 0 3 2 1 okay in the 0 cluster we are having 42,000 records in third cluster we are having 10,000 records in second cluster we are having a uh, 4,779 and first cluster we are having 2966 uh, 2988 okay now we have to label it uh, which is good which is very good based on the average that also we did it then after that we will we will we will show the things we are splitting the data we are splitting the data and we are going to do that using the three algorithm k neighbor classifier with the help of the k neighbor classifier we are getting the accuracy of 99.89 you are seeing that in the classification report we are dividing the data into poor very good good and average almost it is giving a very good accuracy uh, 99.884 it will be do round off so that showing is a hundred percent accurate I hope you know that it is a classification report. You see that it is a PAKKA report. So the best algorithm in this project is a K neighbor classification is the best algorithm. Then for comparison purpose, we are using a rich classifier. In this rich classifier, we are getting 78% accuracy only. That is not so big, so good. But uh, even for comparison only we are doing, you, know, you can see you now, poor is giving good result, but average is not giving good result. Other things also not giving good result. Then next one we are going with then one more model. Now next what we are doing means uh, for rainfall prediction we have to do no. For that rainfall prediction what we are going to do means uh, we are taking that the rainfall value and the predicted value we are doing that. Uh, for the rainfall prediction we are using random forest regressor. There is two things random forest classifier is there and as well as random forest regressor. Regressor only for the prediction we have to use. Using random forest regressor we are predicting predicting the rainfall value we are predicting okay then that uh, usually for classification you are using uh, confusion matrix and uh, classification report for prediction we have to you you uh, we have to measure the r2 score the r2 score we are getting it's 81.31 percentage we are getting that is a good accuracy you are seeing that no what is the real value real value will be in blue color and uh, predicted value no orange color overall that real value and the blue values are matching here you see no number of records all the records which is matching pakka so that we are getting 81 percent accuracy in rainfall prediction 81 percent getting accuracy is a very big deal so that we achieved that thing also so that we have two model one is for rainfall prediction using random forest regressor and two model for the classification in that classification we are taking that only the first one that is a k neighbor only that is only giving you 99.84 percent okay now we are going to the front end that was developed with the flask you you are a new user you can able to sign up you can give your detail and everything you can sign up then you can go with and sign in in the sign in already i created an account i'm going with them okay now rainfall prediction crop yield is there okay now i am taking it a uh, one thing maybe i am taking it a bihar in bihar uh, uh, i am going for a car season what will be the rainfall it is giving the thing it is giving uh, 1152 millimeter rainfall going to become in the whole year a car season okay now based on that we have to enter it here uh, bihar uh, in the car if I am going to give uh, something called uh, uh, what uh, thing we can do in Bihar. 
bigger i will try to go with that okay rice only we can do that rice and the area it, it is i'm having uh, 100 acres i'm going to do it 100 acres and what is the rainfall we predicted 1158 1158 we can do that it will give that it is a poor actually uh, in india majority of the places the agriculture is coming poor only even our records also it is showing that poor only we are having more records you can see no poor only having the more records so that majority will come poor and uh, mostly we will get an average and sometimes we will get a very good and good also so that it is a very difficult we have to identify which crop we can able to yield the good prediction it has to come very good we identify that we can cultivate that crop means we can yield the profit that is the main motive of this project okay understand now next thing we are going with a graph so that you can able to see that what are the graphs we created that CDA we can do rich uh, it's a K neighbor confusion matrix we get the confusion matrix graph we can go with the rich classification we can do the confusion matrix of the rich classifier similarly you can go with an um, classification report of K neighbor we can look at the K neighbor classification report. similarly we can go with a prediction result that is the rainfall prediction we did it now that also we are showing it here then we want the EDA the crop features what are the crop features and we are having that the state features each state how much records are there then we are going with the season features everything is there okay good now you want again you can you can able to take the we can do the rainfall prediction as well as you can go for the crop yield prediction so that we have to identify when which crop we are cultivating it will give the good yield that is a very important in the uh, in the agriculture industry uh, in dhs we are supporting b student m tech student phd student uh, students uh, in their final year projects and the thesis submission even we are supporting overseas students also we, you will get the projects in very attractive rates you will get it uh, uh, feel, uh, feel to call us at 9845166723 or 9886629201 or you can text in WhatsApp also. I uh, hope this video will be useful to you now and uh, contact us. Your own ideas come to us with your project to you. Thank you. Thank you.